Deathmatch. Just the bot here on Mystery Games LP. I am a new director here, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on some new information on Black Ops 2 Zombies. So if you guys have heard about this rumor in the last couple of days, is that Nuketown is going to actually kind of play a big part in the zombie story mode, but this is only if they confirm that Nuketown 2525 will be actually in the zombie mode and then if it is in the mode then it you know that it's going to be a main factor in the storyline saying that there's actually going to be a base that's above or below nuketown or around nuketown so this is actually getting everybody amped up that nuketown is going to be one of the best maps out of treyarch's whole entire career i think it's a good idea since people actually liked nuketown back in black ops i liked it it was a really small map gameplay is always they've always gone faster instead of like um kind of like the the new mo one of the new maps on mw3 i think it's black box or something that map is so huge so many snipers and campers on it i don't think that game will go that fast but nuketown is a different thing where nobody camps or cannot camp or they'll get their butts raped as you guys have seen in black ops so i really think it's a big 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 push and a really good idea for them to actually put nuketown 2525 in black ops zombies or black ops 2 zombies whatever you guys want to call it but that's that's definitely the right choice so i don't think it'll be a rumor once it comes closer to the release date i think they'll say if newtown is going to be in it but that's basically the big update actually on black ops 2 zombies other than the 4v4 mode and the new zombie story mode that were both like announced like a month or two ago and then um er it sounds like the characters from the past Black Ops and World at War series will actually be back in Black Ops 2. Like, they had it set up in Call of the Dead where they were teleporting to the future. So, that's going to actually show you that they're going to be in Black Ops 2 is because they can teleport and they were in a teleporter that got damaged and stuff during the transaction on when they are going to pass through the, f the future to the future and stuff pass through Vietnam and all that mumbo jumbo that actually happened between World War II and the future of Black Ops 2 so you guys it's kind of a main idea why they put nuketown and put the old characters in it is to actually keep the fans interested and keep them on their feet and anxious to play as maybe the reappearing dempsey and the reappearing doctor i totally forgot his name uh come on i, I know it i uh See, this is, this is what happens when you don't play zombies for a while. You forget about the names. I only f remember the first one. And I'm not trying to be racist, but he's American. I remembered him easier. But I guess the doctor, I know the German doctor, is the best character out of the four. I want to see him come back from his death, actually. So he could possibly return. I would definitely love it if he returned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this MW3 gameplay also while I was talking about some new Black Ops 2 information. And I hope you guys subscribe to Mystery Games LP and any of the other Mystery Games channels. They would definitely love it if you guys actually followed them. They're kind of like a Machinima, Yaosh, and TGN kind of channel and network and stuff. So... We're just trying to get the best quality content and stuff out there for you guys to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, I'm just the bod 619 hd My new channel is that right there. So I'll see if I can leave a link at the bottom with my new channel. So peace out, guys, and remember to subscribe.